Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Autumn. If you're new here, I sell tufting gums on my website, rugbabe.com. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what to expect when you receive your gun in the mail. Let's get started. This is the package you will receive and inside of it will be your tufting gun along with a bag full of extra parts to use to adjust and switch between cut and loop pile. I prefer this gun over others that I've tried for its ability to, you know, change rug styles without having to purchase an entirely new gun. This is my personal tufting gun that I've used for half a year now. I've made several pieces with it. I've actually hung a couple behind me to show you guys. If you want to take a closer look at my work, you can definitely check it out on my Instagram, rugbabe. But yeah, let's open one of these boxes. Your tufting gun will come in this box and I'm just gonna use a normal box cutter to open it really quick. The inside of the box should look something like this and your tufting gun should look like this. The cord plugs into US outlets and this is the baggie of tools I was telling you about. So this is a gun up close. It comes with a loop head an extra scissor head and two Allen wrenches, as well as an extra needle and four screws that you'll need whenever you're swapping your cut and pile heads. So when you first get the gun, you're gonna to wanna to take this plastic off of the needle. So the first thing you'll probably notice is this green substance all over the gun. My most asked question is what it is. Um, the gun actually does come pre-oiled to prevent rusting. What I tell people is to just get a paper towel and just clean the gun. The gun is ready to use right out of the box and it does come with the cut pile head pre-installed. The only thing you have to do is adjust this yarn holder and I'll show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna lay my tufting gun on its right side and take the bigger Allen wrench and put it in this screw right here and loosen it just a little bit lift that yarn holder about that high, put that same Allen wrench back in and tighten it. And there you go. If you want, this uh, yarn holder is adjustable so you can you know, move it back to the center if that's where you want it. So now that we've unboxed our gun, cleaned off the oil, adjusted the yarn holder, I'm gonna quickly show you how to use it and how to take care of it. First, you'll notice the swivel arm in front of the gun. This is to help you make curves and change directions when tufting a rug. The second thing you'll notice is the fabric guard. This prevents the needle from pushing too far into the fabric. It will come a bit off-centered, but trust me, that's how it should be so the gun doesn't jam. The next thing you'll notice is the two arms located on both sides of the gun. This is what drives the needle and cutting head through the fabric. Lastly is a trigger guard which pulls back when you press the trigger. The gun also comes with an auto lock button. You can turn it on by holding the trigger, pressing the button, and letting go. To turn it off, just press the trigger one more time. Before I begin tufting, I just wanted to quickly show you guys how to set up your gun. You're going to take a threader and stick it through the eye of the needle, and then get your yarn and put it through the yarn holder and under the guard. Once it's under the guard, you're gonna stick it inside of that threader. And after that, you're going to pull the threader down and your yarn should be through the eye of the needle. As you can see, I'm firmly pressing my gun against the cloth and just making a really quick line. Um, I'll also show you how I do a half circle with my left hand. I hold that swivel arm and with my right hand, I turn the gun. Now I'm going to go back in really quick and do another line next to the first line that I made. This will make my line thicker. This is what it should look like from the other side of your monk's cloth. After you finish tufting, your gun will most likely be covered in yarn residue or lint. So it's really important that you take a little brush and you clean your gun really, really well. Make sure to get in all those cracks and get all that lint out. Once you're done brushing off your gun, you can oil it using a sewing machine oil like this one. It's important you only oil your machine once every three months. Too much oil can cause lint buildup in the gun. Remember, it comes pre-oiled, so you probably won't have to do this for several months. After I oil the machine, I plug it in and run it for a little bit, and that's it. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you still have any questions or concerns, you can definitely leave them in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video.